Hello everyone, welcome back to another crochet tutorial. My name is Kay Estefano and if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. So for today's video, we will be making this simple summer crochet top. This is super easy and beginner friendly tutorial. So for this tutorial, any medium weight yarn would work, but I will be using this Red Heart Super Saver yarn in shade of coral. We will also need a 6mm hook, pair of scissors, leaving needle, and stitch markers. To start, make a slip knot and make a chain long enough from nipple level to your waist or lower if you want more coverage. Our first row single crochet first chain from hook and single crochet each chain across Start with chain 1, turn your work and make single crochets on the next stitches across. Repeat the pattern in row 2 until it covers from your back to your side as shown in the picture. After that, we will now make rows with increases, and to make rows with increases, start with chain 1, turn your work, and make single crochet in the next 7 stitches. If you have bigger chest size, single crochet the next 8, 9, or 10 stitches, and then 2 single crochet in the next stitch, and again single crochet the rest. So I'm here on the 8th stitch, we will make 2 single crochets here and then single crochet next stitches the last. For our next row, start with chain 1, turn your work and single crochet next stitches until you reach the 2 single crochet from the previous row. So here's the two single crochets from the previous row. We will just make one single crochet on the first one and two single crochet on the second one. And then single crochet next stitches till last. For the next rows, you will just repeat alternating the pattern in the last two rows. But before that, we will try to do it again one more time and later I will show you when to stop increasing. So again, to start chain 1, turn your work and make single crochets on the next 7 stitches. Always remember for bigger chest size, single crochet next 8 or 9 or 10 stitches. And then after that, make 2 single crochets on the next stitches. And then again, single crochet the rest. So here's the 8 stitches, we'll make 2 single crochets, 
then single crochet next stitch till last. Next row, start with chain 1, turn your work, and single crochet next stitches until you reach the 2 single crochet from the previous row. So here's the two single crochet from the previous row. We will just make one single crochet in the first one, two single crochet on the next one, and then single crochet the rest. So I've already done 6 rows and you would only stop increasing when this point here reaches the nipple. So I've made here a total of 14 rows with increase and it should look like this. It's, this is already enough for my body size. Next step is to make rows of single crochets without increase and it should cover from nipple to nipple as shown in the picture. After that, we're already halfway done. These rows should cover half of your back. These rows with increase should cover half of your boob. And this should cover your nipple to nipple. After that, we will now make a decrease on the 8th stitch starting from the upper part of the top. But since I ended up on the lower part, we will continue making single crochets until we reach that 8th stitch from the upper part.
So now I'm already here at the upper part of the top and on the 8th stitch we will decrease and to decrease insert your hook yarn over pull through again insert your hook on the next stitch yarn over pull through and yarn over pull through three loops and then single crochet the rest for the next row start with chain one turn your work and single crochet the next seven stitches Always remember for bigger chest size, single crochet the next 8 or 9 or 10 stitches before decreasing on the next stitch. I'm here on the 8th stitch and to decrease, insert your hook yarn over, pull through. Insert your hook on the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through 3 loops. And then again, single crochet the rest. Repeat alternating the pattern of the two decreasing rows until you have the same count of rows with your increasing rows. In here, I made a total of 14 rows with increasing, so I'll also be making 14 rows with decreasing. After that, the top should look like this. As you can see, there is a bump here. This is created to make a space for the chest, especially for those who have a bigger chest size. And again, this part must cover half of your back. This row half covers half of the boobs. And this single crochet covers nipples to nipples. This covers the other half of the boob. And again, we will make single crochet rows here with the same count of stitches on the other side after that it should look like this now we will be making the spaces for the back lace or crisscross lace for the back to create that spaces chain three skip one and slip stitch on the next stitch again chain three skip the next stitches and slip stitch on the next Repeat that process till last. After that, we will only be making one row of single crochets in the edge here to soften and also to get to the other side and make another spaces for the back crisscross lace on this side. making the spaces for the lace on each side chain one tighten and cut the yarn as you can see I've already attached the stitch markers this will be where we will be attaching the straps to attach the straps, insert your hook. From there, make a slip knot, pull it through, and slip stitch. And then single crochet the next four stitches. For the next row, start with chain one, turn your work, and single crochet the next four stitches. Repeat that pattern until the strap reaches the back part. 
also make sure to try to put it against your body to determine if it's too loose or too tight. For my size, I made a total rose of 32 and after that, we will attach it at the back part. To attach at the back part, we will just slip stitch the 5 stitches. Then of course, we will just repeat the very same pattern to the other strap. After weaving the ends, it should look like this, so simple and super perfect for summer season. For our crisscross lace, I just double fold my yarn and made a chain of at least 300 or more for bigger sizes. And we're finished if you like this video tutorial and this top please consider subscribing and I would very much appreciate it if you'd also subscribe to my featured channels thank you